Papa told me that I was to preach. I started asking the Holy Spirit, what is the message he wants to reveal to his people? And the Spirit of God told me that actually talk about the consciousness, consciousness. Because one day something happened. I had forgotten this. Something happened. We had just come from the service and we are going back home. So I looked at my wife and she was so excited. The reason why she was excited, she was excited about the word that has been preached that day. Then she asked me, are you all so excited? And I told her, this, I am excited, but I have two things in my heart. I know that people are excited, but the devil wants them to be excited, and they go back home and do nothing, and put nothing in action. And the Spirit of God told me that actually, preach about consciousness. Genesis chapter 3, from 20. Genesis uh, chapter 3, verse 20. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Also for Adam and his wife, mm. the Lord God made tunics of skins mm. and clothed them. Yes. Then the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become like one of us, to know good mm. and evil. Mm. And now, lest he put out his hand mm. and take also of the tree of life mm. and eat mm. and live forever. Oh, the, the therefore, the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden. Repeat chapter 22, slowly. Then... The Lord God said, mm. Behold, mm. the man has become like one of us, yes. to know good and evil. Yes. And now, mm. lest he put out his hand yes. and take also of the tree of life yes. and eat mm. and live forever. Okay, you may stop there. Amen. Yes, uh, I want to talk about consciousness. And the dominion of the spirit. The enemy knew something at the beginning. The Bible says, and God told Adam and Eve, you may eat of any tree in this garden, but do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the serpent came and beguiled Eve and told her, no, you were deceived. Actually, God knew that this tree will make you wise. Praise the living God. The Bible says she continued and followed the leading of the enemy. But this is my point of emphasis, where I want to be more emphatic from. Chapter 22. The Bible says, And the Lord God said, Behold, man has become as one of us. This is God saying. And God said, Behold, man has become like one of us. So God is saying these words after Adam and Eve have eaten the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Praise the living God. I want to go very slow. Why is it that God never wanted these people to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? That is the question number one. Question number two. Does God know good and evil? I'm asking these questions. I'm asking you this question. Does God know good and evil? God himself. 
The answer is yes. He knows all things. He's omniscient. Praise the living God. But God never wanted man to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil at that state. The state at which man was in was not in the position of carrying, was not in the capacity of carrying that particular kind of knowledge. That particular kind of knowledge was only meant for God. That's why in chapter 22, he is now saying that, Behold, man has become like one of us. Meaning that for God's, for God, listen to me, for God's, it's okay to know good and evil. But for man at that particular point, it was not okay for man, because man needed a fatherly modification so that man can carry that kind of knowledge. Praise the living God. So by that time, man needed a certain kind of consciousness. Ah, uh, Praise the Lord. Oh, Jesus. Help me explain this. At that particular time, okay, let me go slow. When you have a child, eh? And that child is six years old. At that particular point, you can't bring sex education. Is it okay? At that point in time, you can't do what? <laughs> but now when you come to Sriman Ego, <laughs> that lesson is okay. So at that point in time, Adam was not supposed to receive this particular kind of knowledge, it was beyond his capacity. That particular kind of knowledge of good and evil was meant for gods. So by the time he received, by the time Adam and Eve received the knowledge of good and evil, they were not yet modified into that position. So this, this kind, oh Jesus, before they fell, I want to bring to satisfy this unto you that actually that wasn't the final, final creation of God. It wasn't the final intention of the position for man to attain. The position of Adam and Eve. Because the Bible is telling us that actually at that point in time, man was a living soul. He was not yet a quickening spirit. So there is a certain access. There are certain dimensions of things man was not, couldn't bear at that particular time. Yes, we know that Adam, by the time God created him, he had dominion. He was given dominion over the creation, dominion over birds of the air, dominion over the, far, yes, dominion over the creeping things. But at that particular point in time, that wasn't the final state. You know, scientists are whatever in phones. Eh? I don't know which iPhone is now on the current one. People who are updated, you can tell me. 16. But do you think they are going to stop there? So at that particular point in time, that wasn't the final modification of man. God still had a plan of modifying man more and more, more and more, more and more. So that man can bear certain glories. But by the time man stretched his hand to touch the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it it's like, oh Jesus. Jesus, God is so mindful about your mind. Some of the catastrophes tragedies, challenges that we are seeing in people's life, it is because of their, of their consciousness. The things that they are conscious about. 